In this video, we're going to talk about random variables. So a quantitative variable x. So quantitative means that it has to be a number. So a quantitative variable, let's call it capital X, is called a random variable, is called a random variable. if its values occur by chance or random outcome. So if its values occur by chance or random outcome. So occur by chance or random outcome. Or random outcome. So it's a variable just like from every other math class, except its values occur by some chance or uh, some random outcome. Let's do uh, a simple example. Let's say Jono is going to roll a six-sided die. So Jono is going to roll a six-sided die. So he hasn't rolled it yet. So he has a die in his hand and he's getting ready to roll it. Okay. We're going to decide to let capital X be equal to the number on the die. So number on die. So capital X is a variable. It could be any number between one and six because there's six sides on the die. So Jono hasn't, the, hasn't rolled the die yet, right? So the values of capital X occur by chance or by some random outcome, right? Because we are rolling, Jono will be rolling the die. So capital X can be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. It could be any of these numbers. And all of these values occur by chance or random outcome. So that's a, an example of a random variable. So there are two types of random variables that we're mainly concerned with. Uh, the first one is called uh, discrete. So discrete. So a discrete random variable, the definition is that it takes on a finite or countable number of values. Um, basically, if you can count it, so if it's a whole number for all practical purposes, but I'll, I'll write it, takes on a finite or countable number of values. So you can count the values, countable number of values. So in our example up here, um, the possible values were one through six. That's a finite number of values, so this here is a discrete random variable. Okay, that's an example of a discrete random variable. A continuous random variable um, takes on an uncountable number of values, so you can't count the values. Another way of saying that is that it takes on any value in a line interval, in a line interval. Okay, so um, it could, could be uh, a decimal. Let's look at some examples uh, just so you, so you get it. Let's say capital X is equal to, I don't know, I'm just making these up, uh, the amount of rainfall tomorrow. Well, that's a random variable. We don't know uh, how much it's going to rain tomorrow. It's impossible to know that precisely. It, it, you know, it's, it's a prediction usually. So this is a random variable. Now, you can't count the amount of rainfall, right? This, it could be a decimal, so this would be continuous. Continuous. Now, if we let capital X instead be um, the number of people at the park tomorrow, you can count the number of people at the park. You can't have like a decimal number of people, so this would be this would be discrete. So for all practical purposes, whole number discrete, uh, decimal continuous. That's it.